Happy Valentine's Day, Peter. You too, man. Um, let me get this out. Let me get this. Let me get these bars out. Dun, 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 dun. This pod is for the lover in you. These takes <laughs> will always be true. I really feel like I'm rubbing off on you if that's what we're getting. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I, yeah, I knew you'd like that. <laughs> um, well, any uh, podcast that doesn't include Mike, we have to start with a couple minutes of football, considering the Super Bowl yeah. happened. Yeah. Um, shout out to uh, people getting mad at Eminem for dyeing his eyebrows and taking a knee, I guess. I didn't even, I thought, can I be honest? I thought he was just like doing some choreography. I, I like, thought forgot he was crying. We all, I was watching the game with a 92% black audience. We all thought he was just crying. <laughs> just thinking Nobody. about his divorce. <laughs> yeah, we, none of us were at the house like, Nam and him nailed. Yeah, we're free. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just like, man. That like. All of the all of the reparations money hit every black person's bank account as soon as his knee hit the floor. As soon as it touched, I had three thousand dollars and a tax credit for a first time home buyer. <laughs> that seems like a light. If that was all it was for reparations, why wouldn't they just do that? That seems pretty good. Nah, you know, it's. I mean, you can't even calculate what we're owed at this point. I. It would be yeah. whole state. You would have to give us. Whole state, you want reparations? Say no white people are allowed in Wyoming. Yeah, kick, kick them well, all out of Wyoming, and Kanye we'll just try to do it. That's what I'm saying. Kanye's already set up a camp. We'll just build around that. You know what I'm saying? We could just put a couple Sally's Beauty supplies right up the street. I, uh, I honestly like the halftime show was fun, but part of me did feel like. I was watching the Wyclef John meme of him holding the CEOs on his shoulders the whole time. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, yeah. Where I was like, I was like, this is tight. I fucking love this. Like, I'll watch Kendrick do anything anytime forever. But also, like, damn, like this is like what Van Halen looked like in two thousand and eight. At first, like, I was this worried. is you too. I was like, how's he going to get out from around all them boxes? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's like, Kendrick, don't fall. Yeah, I thought he's going to fall trying to hop through them boxes. Uh, and no, it was a good, it was a good show. Uh, I really didn't expect Mary J. Blige to do no more drama. I thought it was really funny because it's the NFL. I can't think of a more dramatic organization. They, they they give drama, they take drama, they are drama. The only thing that wasn't dramatic was the football game. Yeah, Junior Seau killed himself. <laughs> That's drama. <laughs> That's big-ass drama. Aaron Hernandez killed himself and someone else. That's drama. <laughs> That's, like, dr That's dramatic as fuck. NFL, we know drama. But, you know, I'm a, Mary J. Blige is my favorite singer. And honestly, when she did Family Affair, which we all knew, she had to do Family Affair. It's a Dr. Dre song. It's it's one of the only fun Mary J. Blige songs that doesn't have anything to do with her getting cheated on or beat up. Well, the other one is the song that she sang to Hillary Clinton at her face when she was interviewing her. Correct. Uh, but I thought she sang no more drama really well i was like okay mary's doing the mary dance she's not really crushing family affair but then when she went into no more drama i was like oh shit okay mary is hey that sounds like mary to me and i was excited she did a great job i was like i thought everyone did great i did not understand like it's like the only thing that someone need, like do you think 50 cent was like i gotta be upside down yeah, I because, mean, somebody, because he was upside down in the original video. Yeah, but like. Which he, was also Dr. Dre's idea. Hey, hey, cuz, you gotta do this upside down. <laughs> but do you think that's something, do you think that was always just like Dre like fucking with him? Had to have been. 
He kind of... <laughs> he did it. He put on one of his old G-Unit tank tops. <laughs> just like, I feel like we could... Like, I feel like the choreography and everything could have just been nicer to, to, to him. Nah, fuck 50. 50 Cent is a huge tool. And yeah. He's, and he's wildly successful. He, he doesn't he even... Huge... Ra- he doesn't even rap anymore, dude. He's a television producer. Yeah, he's a television producer, and like he has like the body type now of like Grimace. <laughs> thug Grim- Grimace? Yeah, Thug Grimace. I was like, look at this like round dude. Like this is like if you or and I were like, all right, we're gonna put on like our tank top and we're gonna suck our tummies in and we're gonna walk around like we're real cool. Like that's what a <laughs> you that's notice he didn't I mean, okay, so also the knock on 50. 50 never really walked around much to begin with. Everybody knows 50 cents choreography is just him doing that. He's like sort of lightly marching in place. And he's kind of like it's just that he's like doing this. He's kind of like um yeah, he's doing every like guy the, whoever like got dragged onto a dance floor by someone that they like had to dance with. Yeah, it's like he's doing uh uh-uh uh with his hands, like no no. Uh, no, <laughs> and that's all he did. Once he came off of those monkey bars, he just stood in place, which is classic Fifty Cent. So I think probably that's why he did it because you know Fifty's not moving. So he's like, "How am I going to make this exciting?" Upside down, bat mode. It was, it was fine. Um, it was fine. I mean, it was fine. But- you know, it was, it, it was fine. Not only was it fine, I would say pretty good. I had a good time. It was not the time. best. Ha- it was not the best halftime show. I saw Benner say this was the best halftime show. Benner, I don't know. I, I would well, say I Beyonce the best... in San Francisco was better than this. Absolutely, I think this is like this. Just is the itch of like that's our age demo. Like it's just making you think about your life, so you're enjoying it. Like we are now Which... of the age of like this was like the Pen Fifteen of halftime shows. It's like I like Pen Fifteen because it's about seventh graders when I was a seventh grader. Just like all of nostalgia television for the boomers, we're now just old enough for it to happen to us. So, and Dre, Dre looks, looks old. <laughs> he just looks old. Yeah, I mean, a, he is old. He's he's a legitimate old man. Yeah. So you forget sometimes these rappers be old as shit. And, I saw Jizza yeah. a couple months ago with Benner. Jizza, an old fucking man. You see Jizza, and you're like. I understand you're one of the greatest rappers ever, but you're too old to be rapping in public like this. Also, um, shout out to Anderson Pac, who uh, is just just the coolest. I mean, he's having the year. He's got to be having the best year out of anybody because... He's so cool, Bruno Mars can't even make him not cool. Yeah, he's... He's got Bruno Mars on Black People Radio. Keep that in mind. Bruno Mars does not make it to your urban contemporary stations without Anderson. And also, he I don't think he get, he gets that pressure. Like nobody's mobbing Anderson Pack in the in the streets. Like he can still go to the mall. Yeah, yeah, he could go to the mall, and also like. Probably one of my favorite live performers I've seen. Yeah, when he goes outside, if he goes to an ice cream parlor, it's not like the, no fourteen-year-old girls are gonna like throw up out of like like horny fear when they see Anderson Pack. He gets to just be a man and just hang and do grown-up shit. He doesn't have to pretend to like not smoke weed because he has like little kid fans. <laughs> he's not like Pharrell yet. He's not like doing Troll Six. Yeah, he's just he's. It's the sweet spot of of fame and notoriety, where you're at the best shit. You're at the absolute best shit. You're at the pinnacle. Residency in Vegas, Super Bowl, and you get to like grab chicks' asses online. Like if Anderson Pack showed up at a strip club, he's not losing a single endorsement. Oh, not at all. Maybe gaining one actually. He might get Astro Guy. Yeah, somebody else might sign on. Um, overall halftime show, 
yeah, I give it like an eight out of a ten, eight out of ten. It was fun, but you know, my uh, Beth said rightly so. Like it was one of the coolest sets for a halftime show. Yeah, just like the the way that like it was all choreographed and kind of flowed together was really cool. Yeah, a um, shopping center where countless individuals have been robbed and gotten punched in the fucking face, <laughs> just screamed on. And it just they just made it look so peaceful and serene. All white with the pianos, the signs swirling. You get your ass beat over there. Um this just in James Harden out through the All-Star break. Oh no, really? 